In the newest build of Windows 10, known as the Fall Creators Update, Microsoft has recently unveiled their new Fluent design, which is based on a design known as Acrylic, previously known as Project Neon. Many of the old school Windows users will probably remember that this replaced a very similar effect that was introduced in Windows Vista known as Arrow Glass. Now many people miss that Arrow Glass effect, and in fact it is the reason why plenty of people are still using Windows 7. However, what if I told you that there was an easy way to get true Arrow Glass not only only on Windows 10, but also on its predecessors. We all love Windows 7, don't we? It was the operating system that for many of us is pretty much our favorite version of Windows. And one of the many things that we enjoyed about Windows 7 was the interface. It had this beautiful transparent effect. However, newer versions of Windows have stripped Windows of this exact feature. There was a way, despite Microsoft's upcoming acrylic design, to get true arrow glass on any of the newer versions of Windows. The new Fall Creators update in Windows 10 basically brings a lot of nice new features, one of these being an interface lit. This design is previously known as Project Neon and has officially been dubbed the Fluent Design. With this new interface called Air <coughs> Acrylic, however, if you remember the old school windows that you've remembered for about 10 years, the Arrow design has been proven to be very well loved in the Windows ecosystem. Many people have been missing those arrow effects on their newer builds of Windows. There's a simple app that you can download that'll restore true arrow glass functionality without any glitches, without any bugs, and with perfect integration with all of the personalization options as if you were running Windows 7. Well, here's the solution. Simply go to glass8 Dot EU. Once you go to glass8.eu, it will bring you Arrow Glass for Windows 8. Now, it says Windows 8, but it also works with the newest builds of Windows 10. Now, obviously, the Fall Creators update is just been released, so I haven't tested the newest version of it. And if you have an older version, there's a good chance it won't work with the newest build of Windows 10. However, in the case of 8 and 8.1, you can pretty much use the exact same versions, and I just translated something. However, with Windows 10, the unfortunate thing is pretty much every time there's a new version of Windows Windows 10 released, you'll pretty much have to go in and update this software. However, considering that it only happens about every six months or so, it seems like not such a big deal. And in my opinion, it's worth it to have this level of integration with the system. And yes, this is real. And this is completely customizable too. This is how I've customized it. I have the black taskbar with the completely clear windows, very similar effect to what you see in Windows Vista. However, I still have the flat design of Windows 8 and everything just blends together seamlessly and in my opinion looks much better than the interface that was on Windows 7. So how can we do this? Well basically just go to this website, download their app, and there's also another tool that I would look under which is called the Aeroglass GUI, which essentially has a lot of different features and stuff that you can actually tweak about the software, and that's what I would recommend getting. So if we go to download, we will actually find the arrow glass or the we will actually find the testing version of the GUI application to modify arrow glass parameters. And now this I would absolutely recommend getting because by default everything looks kind of messy, especially on Windows 10. However, you get this app. Now basically this is the way that I've configured it, where all of the arrow effects are absolutely beautiful. If we go down and we open up the GUI application, this allows us to select many different options. We have a theme atlas image that we can browse for, which by default, it defaults to the Windows 8 release preview. Actually has a lot of nice things. Now this looks very similar to Windows 7, where it has the big buttons, but it's also squared off, so it looks a little bit more fluent with the Windows 8 Metro UI design. And we also have a glass reflection image, in case we want to test basically and change how the different reflections are put into place. And I made the mistake of doing that, which doesn't work. So so that's not designed to do that. But as you can see, it's a great design. Now we can go and change the system. So that way, if you're on a laptop and you're running the effect on battery, it'll actually disable it and go back to the usual interface to save some battery life. You can also select how these are basically set up. And you have a lot of different things. You have the blur effect radius, which is essentially how much it blurs. So you can see, as I scroll over these icons, the icons are almost completely blurred out. Whereas whenever you scroll the bar down, you can see it goes to pretty much being 100% transparent, which is actually a little bit different 
different than the original arrow design which had a lot of blur. However, I wouldn't recommend doing this all the way because then a lot of times you'll actually forget the windows there and you'll try to click on stuff through the border which I have actually done in the past. So basically you can also change you can also change many different things like the color of the captions and overall there's a lot of customizability here. Although me personally I like to have the atlas image off and just use default because that looks the cleanest to my eyes and you still have the native Windows 8 buttons but you still have the blur effect on the actual title bar so that way you can still see the text no matter what color it is. You can also change the glass colors. You can have it automatically compute from your desktop background which is great and you might be thinking that sounds great but it'd be much nicer if I could just customize this directly from the control panel. Well, I've got you covered. If you basically just right click and personalize, you can change your colors exactly the same way you would natively. So for example, if I want to select this blue color, I can turn down the intensity and it goes completely clear just like Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Similar to Windows Vista, the taskbar will actually stay that same color, which I actually rather like. So what I like to do is I like to set it to pretty much any color. I like to turn the brightness all the way up so it goes to pitch black and then turn the reflection intensity all the way down or adjust it to my color so no matter what the taskbar is black which I like now this all depends on how you use it and what colors you use but you can adjust this as you would with pretty much anything natively out of Windows and it's actually very intuitive and it just works and honestly like it's it's worth it and although I will say that you do have to pay for the full version if you want to get rid of the watermark that normally appears in the corner. However, I think it's personally worth it. Just for this level of integration alone, it feels like it's built in natively to the OS, and it honestly gives it a very appealing look that in my opinion pretty much makes Windows look immensely great and powerful. Now a lot of people will try to say, well why do you care about how it looks? And the truth is, if you spend a lot of time on your computer, you want to be looking at a nice interface. And if you're looking at something that frankly hurts your eyes or is very unappealing, you're going to get fatigued fairly easily. So using this tool will actually kind of breathe new life into your operating system. Now I'm not paid by the company to do this, in fact I don't even technically know what the company is, it's just Aeroglass. However, the way that they've implemented it is simply great and of course you still have everything just works as normal and it's very good so you essentially have Windows 7's arrow theme but much much better and if the arrow glass theme was the main reason why you were holding out on Windows 7 then jump to 8.1 immediately now Windows 10 might be a different story because there's a lot of privacy concerns and some people make similar arguments with 8.1 but the truth is 8.1 with these tweaks is pretty much exactly like Windows 7 in that respects and you have all the new benefits of 8.1 so that's my recommendation and that's why I'm currently on Windows 8.1 one at the moment. However, it does still work great in Windows 10 as well, provided you have the right version for the right build of Windows 10. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions about this software, definitely leave it in the comments below, and I will catch you guys in the next tech tutorial. In fact, if you want a sneak peek to the next tech tutorial, here it is.